Tonight, a look into the chaotic scene inside a Central Ohio hospital where investigators say a suspect and police exchanged gunfire, leaving one man dead. And tonight, that body camera footage answers some questions, but it raises even more. Good evening. I'm Colleen Marshall. I'm Carrie Charles. This all happened Monday in the emergency room. You'll remember this at St. Anne's Hospital. That's where officers shot and killed Miles Jackson. NBC 4's Jamie Ostroff joins us now. She's been going through the video. A lot of people have a lot of questions, but this video is providing some answers, but as we just heard, still some questions. Yeah, it definitely tells a big part of the story. It, of course, is very disturbing to watch, as is any scenario in which someone loses their life. We are showing you as much as we can because this video shows that Jackson resisted even after he was tased. He also had a gun, which was fired. Hey, Miles, are, are, do you work anywhere? It starts as a civil exchange. Okay. Yeah, Columbus thanks, police officer good. Ryan Critchbaum arrives at St. Anne's Hospital Monday afternoon to arrest 27 year old Miles Jackson. Brought in for a drug overdose, Jackson was wanted on a domestic violence warrant. Critchbaum and Officer Andrew Howe search Jackson's pockets. Uh oh. Got a little bullet action. And things start to go wrong. Get, it, get his arm behind his back right now. Oh, stop. Critchbaum's camera cuts off. Investigators believe the camera was accidentally disabled during a scuffle with Jackson. He's got a gun. Howe's body camera picks up the rest oh, as officers arm, try to cuff Jackson. He really is on my arm, They man. struggle, and Critchbaum pulls out hey, man, his teaser. I'm going to comply, man. I'm going to comply, bro. This is off, man. Officers oh, still off. struggle to get Jackson on the floor when... Jackson's gun fires from his pocket. Another shot. It doesn't appear that anyone's been hit. That's when a standoff starts. I can't get up, sir. I can't get up. Get your hand up. I don't care. Let go of it. Let go of it. I let go of it, sir. It's on the floor. Put your hand up. Now let go of it. Here's another view from Officer Dana Hausberg's body camera. She's been called in for help. Jackson's on the floor. Put your other hand up now! We want it up in the air. Slowly. Slowly. Put your hand, right hand up in the air. Slowly. He does not have both hands in the air. Davey. Davey, if you take my spot, I'm going to tase him. Get your hand up now! Another taser, and it only takes seconds. About 30 seconds later, officers clear the room for medics to help Jackson. As they wheel him away, his gun lies on the floor. No officers were hurt. Now, the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation is investigating this shooting. They say Westerville police and hospital security officers also fired their guns. None of the security officers' names have been released. So here's the question. He was already in the hospital in a bed. How did he get the gun in the hospital? Well, that is an exact question that I just called and left messages with uh, Westerville PD for. Uh, they are still investigating the conduct of those two officers that made that initial con uh, contact with Jackson to see whether they followed policy. Uh, I did also have a chance to review some Westerville PD body camera of that first encounter with Jackson. You actually see an officer just give a very gentle brief pat down to the front of his hoodie but not his pants, and that is where the gun was. And that's part of the concern, I can tell you, since this incident took place, I've been hearing from a number of people, even mm -hmm. people who were there in the ER about what took place. And so the hope with releasing this is that it provides answers to the community, but people are still going to be upset. They still have questions. Yeah, and those questions uh, very justified. Again, Westerville P PD still investigating the conduct of its own officers. Well, we do want to mention this tonight. We've heard from uh, Westerville Police Chief, and he has put two of his officers on administrative leave in connection with this incident. Officers Eric Everhart and David Lambert had first contact with Jackson in the parking lot where he was found. The department says it is investigating how and what extent the officers followed proper policy and procedure. Chief Charles Chandler added that he has concerns that warrant further review. We'll keep you posted.